Hey, this is Brent with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice buffet that we're going to redo. So follow along, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this project started. Alright, overall this piece is in pretty good condition. All the hardware is here, the drawers open nice and easy and close nice and easy. The top is kind of worn out, it's got some scratch marks, the polyurethane starting to peel or uh, crack and break up so we're going to be doing a lot of sanding on the top. Now this is for a client of ours so we're going to paint it black nice soft scuff on it and it's going to bring this modern feel to it i'm really excited to see these lines really pop with that color so first thing we're going to do remove the hardware check the subframe get all of it torn down so we can start sanding and before that let's do a quick run by so you can see the piece in the before state <laughs> Alright, we got the drawers out, everything looks good, so we're going to start sanding. Got my DeWalt sander, 80 grit sandpaper. Again, the top's going to need a lot of work here. We'll get all this imperfections out of it, make it smooth again. We'll work our way down the piece. Anything that's flat, we'll hit with the DeWalt. Anything that's not, well, we'll have to come back and hand sand it. So, <laughs> still a lot down here that'll have to be hand sanded. Same way with the drawers and the doors, and we'll get it all done, get it prep primed. All right, get it vacuumed out and uh, wiped down so we can start painting after that. So let's get through the hard part, sanding. We've wiped it down, vacuumed it out, sanding's all good, and we're ready to start painting, which is what we really are after, right? The transformation component. Today, bare priming paint, uh, eggshell finish, and the color is black. I know, <laughs> real wild color, but black. So we're gonna make it nice and easy, two coats on it. We'll do the drawers twice, the frame twice, and, and the drawers, <laughs> and then we can get to Next component, which is going to take about three hours, I think, to get all this painted. I got my Wooster brush, and well, let's get started. All 
All right, we've painted twice, we've let it dry, and now we can apply the uh, wax. Now for this specific piece, uh, the client didn't want it scuffed, so we're gonna keep it solid. Uh, we spent a lot of additional time on the brush stroking and making sure this paint came out real nice and clean so we don't have anything, uh, any globs or any issues. So next step, add the wax. We're gonna use our mini wax natural. Got a rag, wipe on, wipe it off, and uh, well, nice easy protection. Next time you see this piece, well, it'll be finished. Here it is completed. We used bare priming paint in black. We did two coats, we waxed it, put all the hardware back on, and well, <laughs> I think the end product's pretty amazing, especially from where we started. So, this will be getting delivered to our client's house here soon, and I know she's gonna love it in her space. If you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, Leave us a thumbs up and maybe even a comment.